everybody, it's Lori from Paracord Planet. Today I'm going to show you a knot called the Mandala Knot. I first learned it from Storm Drain and it's a pretty cute knot I think, so I wanted to turn it into a bracelet. For this, you don't need a whole lot of cord. All you'll need is um, about maybe two and a half to three feet of cord. So I have the two different colors here. And then you also need a scissors and a lighter just to and the bracelet of course. First thing you'll do is just a little knot. The smaller you make this knot, the easier the tightening and adjusting process will be. Then take your cord on the on the right, go under, well, below I guess, under this cord, and then down through the center. like this. Now with your second cord, go down through the center of the of your knot that you already did. And then make another little knot here. Just like that. Again the smaller the smaller the knot you make the easier it will be to adjust later when we finish. Take your cord on the right, go down through gently. Then you're going to go under the cord on the left here. Then you're going to go down through the circle. So these are your two knots. Now it's just the adjusting process. These are both very loose and you want them nice and tight just like this one here. So we will fast forward ahead and just Keep pulling one side and then tightening on the other and should have a nice looking mandala knot. So this is what you should have on your mandala knot so far. They should be nice and tight next to each other there. So to turn it into a bracelet, we are going to do a diamond knot on one side and a snake knot on the other. So to do the diamond knot, you want to go up a little bit closer towards the, towards the first knot here, but you will want, of course, a little bit of room there. So simply take your bottom cord between your two fingers there and make a loop. Take your second cord, go under, and then go over, under, over. Just like that. Now take this cord, go around these two, and then up through the center of your diamond knot. This cord on the left here, go under the original, the one on the right, and then up through the knot, or the center of the diamond knot, and then you want to just gently pull. And that should be about a base outline of your diamond knot. You now here you will want to wiggle it up here just to get it into the spot that you want it in. So I'm going to start tightening there. And then I'm going to kind of put this just about in the center of my wrist to see where I will want the diamond knot. And it's actually about where I want it, here. So I'm going to tighten that up a smidge. And then now I'm just going to tighten the rest of it to make both of these two cords even with the current red one. And I'm going to check it again against my wrist to make sure that it's the right distance here. I did make that a little bit too small so I'm going to loosen it back up. We can skip ahead though. Once you have your diamond knot where you want it, it should be about halfway on your wrist there from the other end of the mandala knot or, or approximately to that. Um, so 
So I have it. So then on the other end, I'm going to make the little clasp part that will go around the diamond knot as the snake knot. So to know where I want that, this back over here. Grab these two. Approximately want it right here. Snake knot is very easy to adjust once you have it done, but just for a starting point. We do have a video on a single color and a two color snake knot for if you want a little closer or more detailed look into doing it. So you'll just want to make a loop on this side, on the left side here. Take the cord on the left then, go behind, and then down through the loop. That's all there is to it. You can pull that tight. So, now you can just kind of test where you have things and you'll probably need to do a little bit of adjusting, but that is okay. So I need to make my snake knot just a little bit more snug because that's a little loose, if you can see there. So I'm just going to move my snake knot up just a touch. Okay, and there that is good for me. So lastly, all that you're going to need to do is cut off both ends of the snake knot and the diamond knot and then you'll just burn them carefully and then flatten them with the side of your scissors. There you have it, the mandala knot turned into a bracelet. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.